Hey guys, it's your girl Miss T, and I know it's been a while since I've done a video, so I thought I'd come at y'all with um, a hair video. I'm gonna be doing my hair. Um, as you can tell, it needs to be colored, and I know y'all tired of looking at me with this bun, because I think almost every video I put up, I have a bun, or if I just did my hair, my hair's down. So I'm gonna color my hair, and I'm gonna try to deep condition it, and maybe even do a length check, something that I have not done in, God, I think a year or two? I don't know, maybe a year, I don't know. So I'm gonna try to go ahead and do that. So stay tuned, talk to y'all later. Basically right now what I'm doing is taking my hair down. Um, I did like a treatment, I didn't do a treatment yesterday, but I basically um, moisturized my hair really well, detangled it, as you can see I'm using my big comb. And I moisturized it with my, um, my African Pride Olive Oil um, Hair Moisturizer. And I've been using this um, since I bought it from Sally's a few, probably last month. And it's about halfway, over half gone. It's, um, it's my review on that since I've been using it for about a month. It's okay. Right now, this is what my hair looks like. Taking down out of the bun. Let me turn around so y'all can see that. Hopefully, y'all can see the length of it with it being wavy and curly. So, I'm just going to basically shampoo it out, color it, maybe deep condition it and then see what I want to do afterwards, see how long that takes me. Otherwise, it'll be a two-part video. So, I'll be right back. Okay, I just finished shampooing my hair with my Ion um, Clarifying Shampoo. I'll shampoo my hair twice with this. And what I'm getting ready to do now is apply my hair color. I'm going to detangle my hair first because... So, right now, I'm just detangling my hair from my ends up gently this is probably another reason why i have a little bit of breakage because i do this when my hair is wet and they said you shouldn't but it kind of works for me a little bit and i try to be as gentle as possible with my hair if i'm not looking at cameras it's because i'm trying to look in the mirror to make sure i'm detangling it properly because i'm not trying to do any more damage to it than it's already ready done so as you can see it's detangleful and it's funny because a lot of people cannot detangle their hair after shampooing their hair with clarifying shampoo um with me because my hair is so fine i can as you can see i do have a little bit of shedding so and that's to me normal because i've been wearing my hair in a bun for the past god i don't know it's probably several months i haven't really worn my hair down much so now what i'm getting ready to do i'm going to color my hair i have my color bottle and the color that I'm using is the color I got from Sally's by Wella called Color Charm. Now what I'm going to do is apply this to my hair and I have my gloves because this can't get messy and I'm going to apply this to my hair starting in the front section first because that is where the um, I'm gray the most and I want to cover my gray and basically put this on my hair and go set up on a, a warm dryer for 25 minutes. Basically what I do is I pull my processing pack down over my ears so it'll get my edges to basically um, clean up anywhere where color got. So I will be back in a minute. Okay, I've come back, I've colored my hair. Um, instead of leaving the color on for 25 minutes, I did about 45 minutes this time. Um, I got reading in the article, that's why. But the standard time, processing time for the color is 25 minutes. Um, I'm kind of glad I did it that way because truth be told, my hair is darker. It's definitely a little bit darker this time than it was the first time I processed my hair. Um, and that's what I really wanted anyway. I rinsed out the color and now I'm gonna apply my treatment to my hair. I'm going to deep condition my hair with um, a treatment that I purchased from Brown Brush Hair. But um, a couple of weeks ago, I purchased um, this. It is called um, Baba de Caracol. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. It's a hair loss treatment. Um, they say it's really great for shedding. Um, let me read you 
But it says, um, it says, Baba de Caracol hair loss treatment contains collagen and allotoin acts deep within the root of your hair to prevent hair loss and breakage. Then your hair will become stronger, smoother, and shinier with its continuous application. The directions are once a week apply to damp hair before shampooing. Leave in for 10 to 15 minutes, shampoo, and rinse out with warm water. What I did the last time, the first time I used this, I got it about two, maybe two, three weeks ago. Um, I put it on my hair, slip in, slip in it overnight because I didn't use heat and rinsed it out the next day and, shampoo, and lightly shampooed my hair and it reduced the amount of um, shred, shedding that I had for my hair that time and it sm smells great it has a lot of slip let me show you what it looks like um, that's what it looks like it's a really good um, product it smells really good it's kind of flowery very light scent not very strong um, and it's very liquidy see it's it's very soft it's not very runny and it's fairly creamy so what I do is I take a little bit distribute it between between my hands and just apply it to my ends first kind of just rub it on my ends and I just apply a little bit at a time and into my hair and then set up on the dry for about 15 to 25 minutes and then I'll come back and show you how my hair feels so and let you know how my hair is responding to it because so far after just one use of this my hair decreased shedding a great deal which beforehand I could t do my hair like this and pieces of my hair would come out in my hand I mean I'm not talking about just a couple of strands maybe four or five strands I'm talking about 10 20 30 maybe 50 strands is coming out in my hands like this it's like every time I would run my hands through my hair it's like shedding like water so I got scared because I thought I was losing my hair and it has thinned out a great deal it's thinner than normal which that's my fault so hopefully this will prevent the shedding and maybe I can um, get it back healthy and get it back growing right now I'm trying to get my winter routine because I don't have a winter hair regimen in, um, in place right now I used to but I forgot what I used to do so now I'm trying to build that back up yet and get prepared because I didn't have one for the summer and I, that's probably why my hair is so damaged now so I will go ahead and comb this through massage continue to massage in put my plastic cap on get up under the dryer for about 25 minutes maybe maybe even 30 depending on what I'm doing I'm gonna set my timer and see how it goes and then come back rinse it out in cool tepid water and show you the results okay uh, did my, tr my treatment and my hair feels absolutely soft it's, it's, it feels great honestly um, I let it stay on for 30 minutes instead of 25 and you can see how easy, easily it is to comb through my hair and there's hardly any shedding coming out at all pretty much And what I'm going to do now is put a leave-in in it and um, blow dry it, put a, probably a little bit of a heat protector. I've never used a heat protector on my hair before because most of the time my leave-in conditioners and my conditioners have some type of thermal protection in them. That's why I prefer because a lot of times heat protectants leave my hair sticky and they coat my hair more so and they leave my hair feeling coated and I hate for my hair to feel that way. If, I, if my, if I want my hair coated, I'm going to put oil on it or some type of moisturizer on it that's got oil in it to coat my hair so it doesn't get frizzy. So I'm going to go ahead and put my leave-in, which has a heat protector built in it already, and blow dry my hair and then come back and see what I'm going to do to it. I haven't decided if I'm going to roll it and um, flexorize my sleeping nose overnight or do curls or whatever. I haven't decided. So we'll see. So I'll be right back. Okay, I finished um, blow drying my hair as you can see and this is what it looks like um, just blow dried on high heat because I use my golden hot um, it only has two settings it's the one that's shaped like a comb not the, the blow dryer um, it has a comb attachments to it um, this is what it looks like this and I have not flat ironed it out um, what I did was I used my leave-in that I showed y'all and I used a, a probably about a quarter size amount for this all over my head, just on the kind of smooth out my edges because they're a little bit frizzy 
because of the fact I haven't blow dried my hair in almost six months probably. I've been letting my hair air dry, I've been bunning it, and I just let it dry overnight or whatever. So what I'm getting ready to do now is flat iron my hair with my chi. I've got it turned on. It does not have, um, you know, the settings like you can do the temperatures. It just has off and on. This is one of the first ones they came out with. I okay, I've finished flat ironing my hair and I am hot. <laughs> I'm hot. But I finally finished flat ironing my hair and this is what it looks like. Um, I, the only thing I have on it is my leave-in and my moisturizing um, lotion by African Pride. And this is what my hair looks like. Ooh, I need to get smoked down my edges a little more. But this is what my hair looks like now. So, it is pretty much almost at the middle of my back now. I purchased um, some satin rollers by Annie and I'm going to roll my hair. I'm going to moisturize my ends first and I'm going to roll it on satin rolls and go to sleep and I'm going to see how it turns out in the morning. So I will be back to show you that in the morning. Hopefully it works the way I want it to. Hopefully I don't have grandma curls. So I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Oops, sorry. Bye. Okay, and I put that roll in there and I rolled it fairly tight. Um, I'm going down near the top and I want a tighter curl on the top. So what I'm going to do is roll these with the extra large and this is the size of them. So basically, I'm just applying that mixture, like I said, and kind of rubbing it between my, my fingers, making sure that I've run it down the length and concentrate the most of it on the ends of the hair. And just basically take it. And what I did was I flat when I flat ironed my hair originally, I made sure I put a bend in my hair. So that way it could kind of go around the roller kind of fairly easy. And you, as you can see my mixture kind of makes sure the hair is held in place. And it's nice, it's got a nice shine to it, and it's kind of sealing that moisture that I've already put, applied to my hair, and it keeps it from getting frizzy. But yeah, I definitely need to go ahead and look at getting my ends trimmed and getting my layers put back in real soon. There. And so I have, and I really don't want that defined part right there, but that's just the way it is, and I think what I'm going to do because it has that bend in it, which I don't like, but I'm going to split this piece here in the front into two, and we'll see how that goes. Hey, y'all. Um, I'm going to take my rollers out, um, and we'll see how this turned out so far. It's okay, <clears throat> see, this is what I look like with the rollers freshly out of my hair. These are the curls. And I like it, but they're a lot looser than what I thought they were going to be. A lot looser. So what I'm probably going to have to do is go back and get the smaller ones. Because I have the jumbo and the extra large size, so you can kind of see the size difference. And I put the jumbo at the bottom, at the bottom, and the extra large throughout the top. So what I think I'm gonna have to do is, which I like the body. I love the body. I do. I love the body, and I love the fact that it's, my hair is very soft, very silky. I may use um, less shea moisture or shea mixture next time also because my hair is kind of weighed down also, which that's okay. It's gonna be humid and hot this weekend, so I'm okay with that. But what I think I'm gonna do next time is I think I'm gonna buy smaller rollers 
and use those and maybe get a tighter curl because these are tight but they're not tight enough which for me that is very rare for me to say that usually my rollers are way too tight and you can see right here in the front the reason why I decided to start rolling my hair is because right here my hair is broken off I have a lot of breakage right there because of the way I've been pulling my hair back in my bun so and that's my fault that's nobody's fault. I have nobody to blame myself because I was not, for some reason, taking care of my hair like I should have been. And that's okay. I'll fix that. Um, it's just going to take time and a lot of patience. And that's why I said I would start my new hair routine for the fall and um, winter months. So, I like it, but I'm going to tweak it for the next time. So, Hope y'all guys like this and I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Have a great day. Have a good day.